everyone. So today I'm going to be taking this hat and painting it and making it very unique. Okay everyone, so here's the hat that I'm going to be redoing, and as you can see it has a big FSE logo right on the front, and it's all stitched in, and then it has the Seminoles stitched on the back, it has a buckle, sorry it's a little out of frame here, and it does have these two tags that I'm also going to take off because I don't need them on, and then it has this part on the side, which just damaged from my cat clawing at this hat um, because it was hanging on the door. So it just needs a little trimming, um, tidying up, and obviously to get those logos and all the stitching removed and to remove the tags. And that's pretty much all that needs to be done in order to paint it. So I am going to be putting on this R2D2 patch on the hat. I actually got this for Christmas a few years ago and I never used it because I didn't know what to put it on. I wanted to put it on something that, you know, I would use and see frequently and I just wasn't sure. and. I just got the idea to put it on the hat, make an R2D2 hat. So that's what I'm going to do. And so I'm just going to remove all of the stitching and the tags and tidy it up as best as I can and get it ready to be painted. And I will just say um, this took a very long time, um, t several hours, especially on this big logo. The entire process of removing all of the stitching and the tags took several hours and I did it over the course of a few days, but I got to this point and um, yeah, I actually removed everything. I didn't have to, but I did. There are a few areas here from the tags um, where the thread got removed so it loosed the fabric. Um, and then I just trimmed away and just had to repair those just with some iron-on glue. And then after that was done, I could go on and actually iron on the patch. And to do that, I just went by the instructions that came with the patch. Once it was all ironed on and secure, I then taped it off because I am going to be painting the hat. Now I probably, I don't know if I could have ironed it on after painting it, but I just wanted to make sure they were secure so I decided to iron on first and then tape it off and then paint around it, which actually was not really difficult at all and that's really what I did. And the paint I'm using is Tulip Soft Matte Fabric Paint. This is actually the first time I've ever used this and I was actually very impressed with it. It covers well and I only had to use like one coat and it worked really well. Like I said, this paint covered really well and I really only had to do one coat and I did go back and do some touch-ups but the, you know, the pigment in it is really well and I was really impressed with it and I'll definitely be using it again because there are definitely other um, sort of 
projects like this that I want to do, where you take an old piece of clothing and, you know, redo it by painting and stuff, modifying it. And yeah, this is definitely something that I was really impressed with. And it took a little while to paint with um, because it doesn't exactly spread too far. But over even so, it's, it was still really easy to work with. And it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, and it worked really well. I could have left the underside that kind of maroon red because it still kind of would have gone with the hat but I decided to go with blue because that's more of um, R2-D2's color and you know it has a lot of blue and white and I just wanted to do that just to kind of keep on that R2-D2 theme so that is what I decided to do is just to use some blue paint. I decided to leave the tape on because I was going to paint over it. Um, what I'm going to be doing is, after I did some little bit of touch up, I'm going to be going for a galaxy nebula look because I want it to look like R2-D2 is out in the galaxy. So I'm going to be using these cosmetic wedges just to sort of get a nice blended nebula look. And like I said, the pigment on this paint is very, very pigmented. So when I first put it on, I was thinking that maybe I made a mistake because it's very pigmented um, and very bold but I went over with a thin layer of black and it just blended it out so it got a very subtle nebula look so it wasn't as bold as I thought it was going to be and I ended up really liking it and it ended up coming out really well.
Once it was all finished and blended to where I liked it, I then went and used some white paint and I just used the flicking me method where you just take the paintbrush and you kind of flick it just to get some sort of splatter so it kind of looked like star. Now I think I was using the wrong brush. The brush that I usually use when I do this is a square brush and for some reason I thought this one would work and it really didn't. So it took, I mean it kind of worked but it took a little longer but this is the end result. I did do some of these kind of manually and yeah took the tape off the patch and here it is all finished. I think it came out really well. I like it. Um, it's really what, just what I wanted. I wanted it to, to look like R2D2 was kind of out just in the galaxy somewhere and I like how the nebula part of it is you know it's visible but it's also subtle enough that it's you know it doesn't stand out too much. It um, doesn't take away from the patch. There's a little string there that I had to just trim off but other than that it's all done and I just let it sit for a little while make sure you know it's all dry and everything but um, it works fine and it fits well and I really like it. So everyone, here's the hat and I absolutely love it. Um, I didn't share this, but I actually got this hat when I was in Florida years ago, um, visiting my aunt and I went to an FSU game and that's where I got the hat. And um, it just was never something that I would wear. I wasn't a fan of them and I wasn't not a fan of them. I just didn't really, um, was kind of neutral on it. And yeah, I just thought instead of just you know getting rid of it, why not turn it into something that I would like and I would wear. So here it is and I really like it. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you're all having a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.